What does the pandemic mean for the future of cities? It really depends on, on whether we find a vaccine. If we don't find a vaccine or the vaccine we find is not very effective, then I can see how this is going to change. Um, the, it, it's going to change how cities work. That is, you know, places like New York City are no longer going to be feasible. Places like Mumbai are no longer going to be feasible because these are just going to be uh, uh, cesspools of, of uh, infestation. Um, if we do find a vaccine, which is what I'm hopeful for, then, then, then I think that for cities, this is just going to be a footnote, that this is just going to be like, Influenza, or this is just going to be like cholera, or this is going to just going to be like bubonic plague. That these are all, these were all plagues, these were all pandemics that really, you know, hit the world at different points in time. We found uh, we found a vaccine, and they are no longer an issue. So it really depends on whether we find a vaccine. I mean, I can also see how people think that. You know, well, this time it's COVID-19, maybe in five years, it's going to be something else. And these things are going to be increasing in frequency. I don't know enough about where COVID-19 came from and I, I, uh, to know whether, you know, this is likely or whether this, this is something that people are going to, are going to think about. Uh, but it's possible. I mean, it's, it's possible. But the point that you're raising, which is that, you know, we all think that there are huge benefits of interacting with other people. And then sometimes we forget that there are also huge costs of interacting with other people, you know, in, in the sense that we also get their diseases. Uh, so it's that trade-off.